Okay, so today we are going to be doing poinsettias. And I will let you Google poinsettias. We're not doing the blue poinsettias because for some reason when you Google them, there's always some blue poinsettias that come up. But what we're really gonna focus on today is the process to make um, your final project. Here are two examples. This one is done in Craypaw. That one is done in watercolor. So you're going to be able to choose what kind of media you want to use to do yours. And I'm gonna give you a few examples. One, if you look at a poinsettia, you will notice um, it's a bunch of leaves. It's all kind of similar leaves. Some leaves are red, some leaves are um, green. Um, I usually start by, if you look at them, there's a cluster in the middle, and then you're going to draw your leaves. I always love it when I first draw and I forget you can't see. So it's kind of a curvy line up, and a curvy line back. Again, Google some poinsettias to get reference of how you're going to draw. Now, I realize some of you, drawing isn't your strongest point. So I have made you some patterns that you could kind of trace and maybe get a variety of different shapes that you're going to trace and turn them over in different directions. Some of the poinsettia leaves are small some are a little bit bigger, but you might want to, again, a good design, it's okay if it runs off the paper. When you're drawing, you want your eye to be able to go all the way around so it's not just locked in on one spot. Once you've got that drawn, then you can decide how you want to tackle coloring in you could just use cray paws. And again, with cray paws, we're gonna do lots of layering. So I might wanna do a red, some orange in there. You can have um, a little bit of a lighter side. I'm using Try not to use black. I think using a dark blue or a purple sometimes gives you a little bit better. And then yes, you want to draw those veins that are in all of your leaves, but you want to use a variety of colors. Maybe you want to outline your leaf. And now I'm just using a crayon. And again, I'm going to add those veins and I can just use my watercolors and again I like to have a variety of watercolors I'm going to wake up some of my colors I'm going to go over it with water first and I'm going to paint the shape of the leaf that I want it to go and then I can come in with my watercolor As I say all the time when we're using watercolors, you might want to have a Kleenex. You might want to have a Kleenex handy in case it goes someplace. And again, if I want it to be darker here in the middle towards the center, I can go in and add a little bit. I don't like to use black, so I'm using a little bit of purple. And that's how you can do your watercolor. Or you can just strictly do the whole thing in, whoops. This is going to be my leaf in the background. Whoa. You might, for this one, again, kind of blending some of those different colors of green in there. It doesn't take very long for the watercolors to dry. I could go back with a smaller paintbrush and add, add those, the veins. I think I needed it to be a little bit drier. You can also wait till it dries like with this one that I did before, 
now that it's dry, I could go back in with a crayon or a colored pencil to add some of the details. So before you get started on this project, you need to think, am I going to do it all in cray pot? Am I going to do a cray pot and watercolor mix? Am I going to do a watercolor? That process is up to you on how you want to do it. <clears throat> 